Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. It is time for another month flip through for September this time and I'm channeling my October already because of my Halloween mug over here. October is one of my favorite months and I, yeah, I just, I love the spooky and the pumpkin and the ghosties and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're just going to jump straight in right off the top with my garden planner. I almost didn't want to show this one to you guys if I'm being completely honest here. So in September, my garden planner was very unused. <laughs> so I, I didn't really have a whole lot going on. We got plenty of rain, which was good. And the temperatures started to get more mild as the month went on, which was excellent. They were still in the 90s for the most part as the high, but in the lows we had some 60s, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, it pretty much went unused. The only really big events, I guess, that happened were that we lost two more chickens, which I talked about in a previous video. We think either a fox or a bobcat or something got a hold of them and they are no longer with us. And then we had another one of our chickens, which I also talked about in another video, who was stung in the face, which we did end up finding the wasp nest and it was like this big. It was like the size of a soccer ball. That thing was huge. Um, my boyfriend managed to get it down, which was awesome. But I, yeah, it was crazy. That's pretty much it for the month of September. Everything else was pretty mundane in terms of stuff that went on. Our egg production obviously has been decreasing because we are losing chickens and we're trying to be very careful because we only have two chickens left and if we lose one then we will have to call the other because they can't really live by themselves at least not happily so there's that for the weeklies i tried so hard in the beginning to just make the pages more fun and i think you'll see as the weeks move on but the girl sticker is from the washi tape shop and this is part of the subscription washi from the coffee monsters co this one is also from the washi tape shop as is this washi on the bottom which you can use danielle 10 to save 10 percent this week i used sterling ink deco and yeah as you can see like i started really good these past two weeks writing everything down in all of my dailies and making sure I had my master list even though this week was kind of short and then this week the weekend I just kind of gave up and I didn't I didn't want to write anything this was also the week that we lost those two chickens so I think I was just really not feeling the the garden planner because it just felt like there was nothing left to plan because we were down two more chickens um, this week was kind of the same where I just kind of gave up at the end of the week and just didn't write anything down. And then this was the last week of September where I just really, I didn't touch this planner at all. And I do have to preface this with, I was really focused on getting my sticker shop launched. So I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to my garden space or anything else, which I don't really have anything growing right now. I just have to maintain our fruit trees, make sure they're watered and such, and then take care of the chickens. So it's not a whole lot of maintenance, which is good, but I just, I didn't use the weeklies that much, which kind of sucks, but I'm, I'm learning to live with my white space as I've talked about in some videos. In the back pages here, I have the section where I talk about like what I could plant either indoors, directly into the ground, or transplanting. I do this every single month, and most of the time when I'm actually growing, I put stuff down in the right page of what I've grown, what I've harvested, any kind of notes, things like that. Um, but September, I, I didn't end up planting anything. I didn't end up doing anything else in terms of gardening in the sense of the word, but that's why this is blank. I do hope that next year I will be much more diligent about a fall garden because in my zone, which is zone eight, I can grow pretty much all year round except for January and February. So I want to make sure that I'm being diligent and making sure we can grow enough food for ourselves. In the further back pages, this is kind of where I do my weekly entries. Um, starting in September up here, I was doing really good for a while in terms of writing down what goes on in the week. And then the last week, again, my focus was so, so much on the sticker shop that I just didn't write a whole lot for that week. But that's okay. 
Like I said, I didn't really feel like this one was worth showing just because not a whole lot went on, but this is reality and I I just didn't use this planner that much and we're, we're okay with it. Moving on into my health planner here, which is in the Mina Frahonen cover because I house it. I don't really like the green cover, which I've talked about before. I've tried covering it up and just leaving it in that cover is what seems to work the best. This is, yeah, health planner. So in terms of September, not a whole lot, again, going on in terms of the year at a glance. In terms of the workout tracker, I did better in terms of the beginning of the month just because I was finishing helping my mom move and I was literally moving furniture for days straight and it was just exhausting, if I'm being honest. Um, moving heavy boxes and heavy furniture just, it takes a lot out of you. And so I didn't do any exercises after that for a while. And then we ended up going on a couple of hikes once the weather got really nice, which was really fun. And then we did go on a run as well. But after that, again, I think my procrastination slash motivation to get everything ready for the sticker shop just kicked in. So my entire focus was that and I didn't go to the gym. I didn't run. I didn't do any kind of like major exercise besides, I guess, walking around. So... There's that, which is not good and is definitely going to be changing in October, which I've talked about before. In the monthly section, um, this is what it ended up looking like. I usually start off pretty blank and then add in little tidbits throughout the month. Uh, like this night we had a Harry Potter movie night. This is actually, I think we started the marathon of watching the last half because we've already seen the first four so many times um, here. Like we watched like one every other day or so. And we finished it, which was so much fun. And now we want to do Lord of the Rings because the weather's... Like, it gets darker earlier so we can watch longer movies. Uh, we use a projector instead of a TV screen. So it's easier to use it when it's dark outside. Anyways, uh, I also documented my runs on here. And then when I did my fasts, which is something I really have been enjoying. And I don't know. Yeah, it's just something I, I like to do now is having a 24-hour fast throughout my cycle just to I guess maintain myself <laughs> we'll say um, moving on into the weekly section this was such a fun week with the deco I did this is all coffee monsters co and I love how the purple and the blue match everything it just it feels nice but if you haven't seen me talk about my health planner before I'll kind of explain a little bit I have workout and meditation tracking over here all of my meals that I eat in a day over here a daily check-in, which is where I just do like a little snippet of how I'm feeling. Top three goals of the week, a happy moment, um, a routine, which is kind of like habit tracking, but also like, did I do the things I'm meant to do every day kind of thing? A fasting tracker here at the bottom, which is just when I can see what time I broke my fast and what time I stopped eating. So my fast would start again and then meal ideas. And I've been really enjoying this layout and will probably continue this for the rest of the year even though the fasting tracker is kind of hard to keep up with sometimes, especially if I'm really busy. Um, yeah, this deco is from Sterling Inc. Sterling Inc. Sterling Inc. Um, not a whole lot, like I said, with this. It's just like writing it down every day and seeing how it goes. And yeah, this is the last week of September here. Um, I was using up, I guess, all of my Sterling Ink sub kit, which was nice because it matched the purple that I had in a lot of my fountain pens. Moving on to the back, this is what my tracker ended up looking like. This is a sleep, mood, and stress tracker. This is my cycle tracker, any notes that I have, and then these are kind of like habits slash food groups that I have been tracking. Um... As you can see towards the end of September, it was just all stress, no sleep, mainly because I was working day and night to make sure my sticker shop would be functional online, which it is and is open for business if you are interested. I will have a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, for the beginning of the month, my sleep was really wonky and honestly kind of stayed that way throughout the month. I think it had a lot to do with just the constant stress of, I guess, moving with my mom and then little bit of a break and then moving towards literally opening up my own business so it was a lot of ups and downs throughout the month and I think that's why my sleep and mood and stress was kind of like all over the place in terms of tracking my habits and food groups I did really good with my meditation or I should say better with my meditation this month I did a lot more which was good <clears throat> 
still doing really terribly with my sugar intake, but we will get there. We will get there. Um, and then instead of drinking less coffee, I think I drink more coffee this month, which may not be a bad thing, but I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine. <laughs> Moving on into the next section, which is my workouts. This is where I logged everything. I was trying to make these super short because I was thinking I would have a lot more to write here, but it ended up not being that way. Before, I would do like a skip a line after every entry, but that's okay. And then for the running tracker, we only went on the one run in September, but I think now that the weather really has cooled down, like we have a day this week in the 50s, oh, so excited. We're going to be going a lot more um, just because that is weather we really like to be outside in. Next section is my show and movie tracker. I did end up watching a lot of movies while I was designing and working on stuff just because it was good background noise. And like I said, we did end up watching all of the Harry Potters. Well, not all of them. We watched like, I think, five through eight. So four of them. <clears throat> but... It was really fun to watch some of the movies on YouTube for free, especially they had some good ones. They had the, Con the Count de Monte Cristo in there. They had Mary Shelley with Elle Fanning. It was, it was, yeah. And then in terms of reading, which is the last section of my health planner here, I didn't even read one book for September, which is sad because I was doing so good with like my, the rest of my third quarter, like in July and August, I read several books. Um, but for September, I just... I couldn't get into Dragonfly and Amber. I, made, I think I made it like a few chapters in and then I just set it down and got busy with everything else and left it there. I do intend to finish it because I think it's just slow to start and then it gets better as the book goes on. Um, at least that's what I've read in some reviews. So we're going to push through and we're going to finish it. Plus, I really want to finish the whole series of Outlander. Anyways, yeah, didn't even read one book, but October hopefully will be much better. Moving on to my Hobonichi cousin. This was probably the planner I used the most besides my work planner, which I don't really show on this channel because obviously it's sensitive information. So this is actually pretty full in terms of September, but um, yeah, not a whole lot going on here. In terms of the Calendex section, I wrote something almost every day. I think I have a few days at the end of the month where I just didn't write it down because it was the same thing over and over again. Uh, the memories that I chose to make key note notice down here pulled from up here is that I got all of my Hobonichi stuff. I helped my mom move. We lost some chickens, unfortunately, which this is one of the stickers for my shop. Um, and then my boyfriend's dad came to visit us, which was really nice. It was really fun to see him. And then moving on into the monthly, this is what the monthly ended up looking like. It's very busy. <laughs> um, I do like using the emoji a day or a sticker a day. I'm just trying to make it through my emoji stash. So going from something blank to this is just wow. <laughs> so anyways, this is the Coffee Monsters Co. kit, Coffee Monsters Co. washi, and all of the deco is Coffee Monsters Co. Like I said, I'm trying to burn through a lot of my emojis because I have quite a few sheets just kind of sitting around, so I'm trying to go through them and use them up because I think it's something that I enjoy looking at because they're happy little faces. Moving on into the weeklies, I just want to preface this with the weeklies in September, I think, are some of the favorites I have ever done in my Hobonichi Cousin, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. So, starting off with this week, I used two different fountain pens. I had a gray fountain pen here, and then my green fountain pen here. Um, I believe this one was Three Oysters, or no, this was Papery Plume Oyster Gray. And then this one was Hemp, Hemp by Robert Oster, which is a Vanessa exclusive. Anyways, I really like how I've been changing my colors up for the month. So like August was this gray color and then September started in this green. And then both of these girl stickers are from the washi tape shop. This floral is from Lilo Journals. And then most of the little deco stickers in the middle are from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then this is, I think, when I really discovered how I wanted to use my London Gifties PET tapes. So I really enjoyed having a deco piece at the bottom, at the top, or on the corners. And you'll see that as I flip through. This week was pretty 
full. This was when I got my Hobonichi delivery. Um, and I guess finally when it started cooling down too, cause I put it's spice season. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a washi tape from jet pens. I believe they're like little washi stickers that you can collage collage with. This was one of my favorite weeks I've ever done. This is the Coffee Monsters Co. Ode to Monet washi tape and her stickers that came like uh, like you could buy them together. Um, and then I had done a inspired September ink collection of Ode to Monet. So all of the inks I chose were kind of the color scheme of li the water lilies by Monet. And putting them all together on this was so satisfying. I was so happy with this. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really glad how this turned out and definitely would want to do something like this again. It was, it was very fun. And then this is another one of my favorite spreads. Like I said, September spreads were just ugh, so like in this, yes, just yes, yes. These are London Gifties washi tape from the Dark Academia Bookworm roll. And then this is Coffee Monsters Co. washi again. This was when um, my boyfriend's dad came to visit us. So we ate... Yeah, so we went to Walmart really late this day because we needed to get groceries because we hadn't gotten groceries yet and weren't, ex he, he surprised visit us. So we weren't expecting him. So we had to go get a bunch of food and then we had pizza this night, but I didn't write anything down, which is fine. And then I think we did something on Friday too, but I don't remember and I don't think we wrote it down, but we had to take him back on Saturday, which was <sighs> sad. Um, yeah, it's always fun when he comes. There's lots of laughs. So yeah, but after that, we did have a nice date night and just kind of relaxed for the rest of the weekend, um, except on Sunday, like, I think I made it half a day, and then I had to play catch up on everything that I couldn't work on while he was here for four days, but it is totally, totally fine. Then we come to the last week of September, which is when I was really busy with shop launch, so this is really blank, <laughs> um, and I'm okay with it. I didn't do the different color pens like I had wanted to, mainly because I was just trying to get everything finished. My One of my friends from high school had her baby shower on Saturday, so we went to that. It was really nice. It was on a lake somewhere, which was really cool. Uh, yeah, she's, she's really excited, and I'm happy for her. She's having a girl, in case y'all were wondering. And then, moving on into the daily sections... This is a vellum from the Sterling Ink subscription kit. This is my overview page where I like to put my monthly goals and monthly review. And then, yeah, starting with the dailies. Again, I think I was just really enjoying the London Gifties PET tape because it is everywhere in the dailies, okay? It is everywhere. I'm just giving you a warning now. Yeah, all of this is London Gifties. But I was really loving matching my fountain pen ink to the washi tapes and stickers that I was using. I just love how cohesive it all looked. A lot of these are just kind of journal entries, random thoughts, um, daily astrology tracking, tasks, things like that. These stickers are from the Sticky Club. More Sticky Club stickers. This is, um, I think it's Margot and Art. She, she actually has her own sticker shop in Germany. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Mar Marigo on on soul art. Yeah, so she's she sells her own stuff and they're so pretty, so stunning. Um this was when we went to the state park for a hike. Um it had just rained like the past few days, so it was so muddy and they had a whole bunch of trails closed. So we ended up walking along the lake that is part of the state park and my boyfriend lost his shoe <laughs> in the sand and it was hilarious. Um, okay. Yeah. So this was a day I basically just drew like a whole day. And this was, I think the beginning of when I was just making sure a lot of shop things were going to be ready. This was the autumn equinox, which I think I put on the wrong day, which is fine. And these two days were pretty busy so I just didn't write a whole lot. This is the free uh, washi samplers if you use your bean cards for the Coffee Monsters Co. and I just kind of overlaid them together and I really like how it kind of created a rainbow effect. And then again yeah this was mainly shop work day. You can do this. <laughs> it was a lot of work to get the thing up and running. 
And then this was when we had our full moon. It was the harvest moon in Aries. This is from the washi tape shop. And then so is the the other fall washi on here. This is when I got my Coffee Monsters Co. subscription delivery. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up from here, but this is the Yule Log ink. It is so pretty. Um, and yeah, that's it for October. And then I don't know if I have shown this in my other videos, but in the back I do um, use this page here, the word of the, or I change it to the word of the month instead of words to remember. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I, I change the colors up and like I pick a word every month to kind of keep me inspired with things. Um, and this was a movement tracker that I, I don't really use anymore. So yeah. Anyways, that is it for my Hobonichi cousin. And now on to the common planner. So I get lots of questions about this cover. This is a Hobonichi Tot cover in the Celeste Blue. This I think was their 2022 version. It comes with a bookmark that I do not use. And my common planner does fit in this one, but the new Tot cover that I got, the Bordeaux one, it does not close very well. And I think it's just because that one needs to relax more. So the leather is brand new and needs to kind of loosen, I guess, before it will hold it, but it will fit the common planner. Um, front pages, same as the cousin, nothing new there. Index, I haven't really updated anything. Vision board, I haven't really updated anything. I don't show my goal pages because they're very personal, but this is what the third quarter ended up looking like. I really do like my little hatches over here and I'm gonna continue this for the rest of the year, but next year I think I'm gonna come up with a new pattern. If I decide to do this, I don't think I'm gonna do this actually next year. Never mind. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so that's how the qu third quarter ended up looking like. Monthly wise, it's pretty plain. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot in these monthlies like I did in my cousin just because it's repeat information. So I don't really feel the need to write it again. Moving on into the weeklies. Again, some of these are mm, some of the favorite spreads I've ever done. And I think it's just because I have found a new style that I really like to play with. Um, but yeah, so this is when, again, I changed inks from uh, August to September. This is from the Washi Tape Shop. These are from London Gifties, and this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is from the Washi Tape Shop. Again, a lot of this is the same information. This is London Gifties again, that Dark Academia one, which is so stunning. This is when, yeah, I, I think I chose this because we were watching Harry Potter a lot this week and it worked so beautifully. Um, this one was a spread I recently shared on my Instagram. This is London Gifties and London Gifties. And then the little butterflies are from Lila Journals. And this is that same week where everything was just kind of like, getting everything ready for the shop so not a whole lot going on in terms of planning because that was my main priority my work planner was my like in my hands constantly um yeah so this is a girl from the washi tape shop and then everything else is from the coffee monsters co these moon stickers up here are from my shop which i currently have up right now so if, and since this is undated i'll show you guys my current spread no spoilers. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are all from my shop. And then the tiny works are from my shop as well. I have these tiny little cup of stickers and then also some plants and some chickens and things like that. So yeah, so that is this current week. Then moving on into the dailies. Um, I'm going to just be honest right up front. There is not a whole lot of these. <laughs> So in September, I started off with my currently inked page. I've really been enjoying doing this for all the months in this planner because I have the space. And then I also have a cover page with like my review and goals. Moving on into the dailies. Um, yeah, this is mainly what I used here in terms of deco. This is the sticky club, sorry. More sticky club, more sticky club more sticky club 
Again, I'm just trying to shop my stash, like what I have left, um, and then use the PET tapes that I got from Linen Gifties. Oh, no spoilers. <laughs> Um, this was when I kind of changed my style up because I was doing really poorly in terms of getting a daily in every day. I think I was, I skipped all the weekends. I don't think I did any weekends in here at all. And then I didn't even do the whole beginning of September. Yeah. So we started on the 4th, did Monday through Friday, didn't do the weekends, then I did Monday through Friday again, barely, then didn't do any weekends, and then that was, this was the 15th, and then I didn't write again in here until the 25th, so 10 days later, um, I just, I just wasn't using this because I was using my cousin, and I was doing everything else in all of the other planners, and since this is duplicate information, for the most part, um, I didn't feel the need to pick this up. Then these washies are, again, London gifties, and then these are also London Gifties and Michaels. Uh, but yeah, so that is it for September in my common planner as well. All right, so in terms of everything that I was planning in this month, that pretty much concludes it, minus my work planner again, which I'm not going to show on here. But yeah, it was a pretty busy month for September, not gonna lie, with everything going on with the shop and then um, helping my mom and then my boyfriend's dad coming to visit and everything. It was just a pretty busy month, not gonna lie. October is probably going to be just as busy. Um, I have a wedding, I have my brother's birthday, and who knows what else is going to be coming in. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in anything I talked about today, I will try to leave links in the description. Um, but other than that, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.